Hi guys, this is Val with Living Divine. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, well, welcome back. So I hope everybody has an amazing work week, um, that everything you want out of this week actually happens. So uh, I'm giving positive thoughts and thumbs up <laughs> already for the work week. Also, uh, if you guys follow me or are following me in reference to the fitness challenge, don't forget to leave some comments on the last video uh, as to what you want me to talk about and discuss. I will, of course, kind of show you my journey and what I'm doing throughout the week um, to get to where I want to go. And again, my goal is to have my desired weight by uh, March 31st. Uh, so if you want me to talk about a specific topic, show you a specific workout, things of that nature, let me know. And I absolutely want to do that to be able to help you guys in reference to getting to wherever you need to get to and just be accountability partners in reference to that. But that's not why I'm on the video right now. So last night I had a discussion with my line sisters from college and um, it was really an insightful uh, discussion. So I kind of wanted to talk about the discussion in general and just kind of give you food for thought in reference to whatever you're doing, your next steps in life, whatever they are. So one of the conversations we had are, were, was about, you know, kind of what we did, you know, personally what we did. We knew each other from college, life happens that, you know, we lost contact and we have since reconnected, which has been amazing. And when I say these are amazing group of women, I'm so proud to say that I was part of this uh, line, uh, but these are amazing group of women. Uh, but what I noticed is, let's say 70, maybe 70% of uh, my sorority sisters that were on the call, they were not happy with their current job or a job they recently had, or, you know, or, you know, they weren't happy with that. So they were doing other things. And I'm talking about other amazing things, right? And I'm part of that group that, that was not happy. Uh, I am happy now because, you know, of course I've talked about running, I started this restaurant and, you know, getting it off the ground is stress, but it's beautiful stress. Um, but I'm doing something different from what I did in my previous job, which I absolutely, especially the last several years, hate it, like literally hate it, but I was very good at it. And, and on a side note, you can be really good at something and still not like it at the same time, just in case, you know, yeah, uh, there, I know people that have done, had careers in, let's say, um, have been attorneys and they hated being attorneys. Yes. That's what they went to school for. They spent tons of money doing it. And then when it came time to practice, they just didn't like it. It doesn't mean they weren't good at it. It did not feel their spirit or their soul or whatever they kind of envisioned. And, um, and again, this is a side note. One of the, um, ladies or photographers that worked with me in the past was an attorney and didn't practice law. She decided she wanted to be a photographer. Uh, and that, that fills her with what she wants in reference to her next step. So I'm saying that to say, um, in reference to her and in reference to the conversation I had with my line sisters is what would have happened? You know, had we stepped out and done something different earlier. And so I'm gonna talk about me, not, not their conversation, but I'm gonna talk about mine. Um, I had a job for years and years, almost 30, right at 30 years. Um, not that I hated the job the whole time, but what I knew is that's not what I wanted to retire doing, right? But I was in the mindset of, I got this good, stable job. Uh, I'm very good at it. I kept being promoted, right? Um, but when you work for a state agency or an agency or company or whatever, you know, um, they will only pay you so much of what you're worth. So I'm going to say that for me, it was a state agency. So what you're worth is going to be a lot <laughs> lower than what you're worth maybe as a private agency or, you know, in corporate, corporate America. But, um, you get paid only so much. And it wasn't just the pay. It was the treatment of staff. Um, and I've talked about this briefly in other videos 
that toward the end of, I want to say 2019, and that's right when, you know, COVID was active and, you know, things were close to shutting down or coming close to shutting down. Ultimately, they shut down. But uh, this is the beginning of 2019. I was in a place with my job um, or my career, whatever you want to call it at the time, where I was absolutely burned out. I was working, and no exaggeration, there are times I worked 18 hours easy in a day. Um, there are times that I felt like I was just not going to mentally make it because the job was putting so much stress on me for, I don't know what, extra, you know, $100 a month, you know, uh, or uh, you know, um, it was just not worth me, which is what the job was taking, right? And, and I don't know how to explain that other than I lost myself doing the respectable job, the job that saves lives, the job that, you know, makes sure children are safe and all. I lost who I was in the midst of that. And I had an organization that really did not care that I was losing myself as they continued to um, put work on me and put work on my staff and, you know, um, not understand that there has to be some work-life balance. There has to be some quality of life with this thing. And in 2019, it just kind of came to a boiling point. At the same time, COVID happened. So it kind of was a, a, <laughs> a perfect storm in reference to that. So in listening to the um, my line sisters last night, listening to them talk about the fact that they did not like their current positions and and they're doing things like um, they're, they're, they have their own counseling um, business, you know, shout out to Terry. <laughs> they have their own counseling business and, and, and they're doing podcasts and, and they're writing books and they're, they're doing their own thing. And of course, you know, I've talked about the fact that Ron and I are opening one of six restaurants in the next, um, I want to say within three years, we should have maybe less. So we should have all six restaurants up and going. So, you know, we're doing different things, but I thought about what would have happened had we stepped out earlier? Would I have been to the point of burnout? Would they have been gotten to the point of burnout? But I think there's a mindset and I'm going to only talk for me because I can't speak for them, but I think there's a mindset where you get very comfortable in the safe job, right? The job that offers um, benefits, the job that uh, you get the steady paycheck from. But I want to challenge you to think about what you are losing in the process. Um, and, and I'm not saying stepping out on faith is easy. I'm saying make a plan. And the plan might not come together today. It might be the you know, I'm making a plan. It might take two years to get there, but make a plan on what you need to do. If you're currently unhappy, if you love what you do, I'm saying kudos, good for you. But what I'm finding in, in now doing the business side of this thing is that there's so many people unhappy with what they do. They, they retire, not ever will, just having pure enjoyment out of what they they do in life, that they're not getting fulfillment. And fulfillment comes in many different ways. It does not all have to be financial, obviously. Uh, it could just be, you know, emotionally or, or spiritually or whatever the fulfillment is. They're not feeling that, but because of the security, I'll put that in quotes, <laughs> the security of the job, they stay at this position. And, and again, I'm not saying walk out on any job that you have or walk out on any situation that you're in, I'm saying actively start making a plan. Make a plan to do what you want to do. And it might be that you're not ready. Let's say if I want to be, I don't know, a doctor, right? Uh, I don't have the credentials. So maybe my plan needs to be, how can I go to medical school? How can I, I, I map that out with what I'm doing to go to medical school, still keep things going, still keep bills, you know, paid, handle my responsibility, but how do I get to that next step? So after listening to my sorority sisters last night and even knowing my personal story, I felt like I should at least come on and give you guys some encouragement to actually follow your dream. Um, and I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I will tell you with um, 
Ron and I in the restaurant, these last, I wanna say six months, have been a difficult six months. It is, and I don't mean difficult like the same stress when I was at a job that I absolutely hated and didn't care about me. It's difficult in, in a different kind of way in reference to you still have to do the work. You still have to make sure everything's aligned. You have to make sure you qualify. And if you don't at the time, get credentials or your financial together or whatever it is you need to do to qualify for what you want or where you want to be in life. So we still had to do that, but it's so much more rewarding, personally. Uh, it's so much more rewarding in reference to work-life balance. Uh, it's so much more rewarding in reference to being your own boss, if that's what you choose to do. For me, you know, being my own boss. it is. I The rewards are already uh, threefold in reference to where I am now, as opposed to where I was for 30 years, right? So I, I'm going to tell you, use me as the precautionary tale <laughs> that you can do this now. Like you don't have to wait for 30 years and look back and say, I wish I had done it 30 years ago. Um, if I have one regret, it is that, that I didn't step out and do it then. And I'm going to tell you, part of that is the mindset that we have. We have a mindset is this is what we're supposed to do. And we look at other people in admiration, be it um, movie stars or people in business or or uh, sports players or whatever. We look at them in admiration, but we continue to do our everyday jobs um, because we feel like we have to. And again, if you love your job, trust that I'm not knocking it. I think it's amazing that, that people can do a job and absolutely love it. Um, that's a blessing. I didn't have that blessing. I do now, but I didn't then. And my issues with not stepping out, fear of stepping out. So part of that is the mindset of this is what respectable uh, work looks like. You know, you're, you're, you're working to make sure children are safe. You're working to make sure families are whole. And I'm not knocking that uh, career. What I'm saying is that if I wanted to do something different, and I did, I should have stepped out years ago. But I am where I am. I do kind of all joy. I'm in a very blessed position. But if I can get to somebody, if I could talk to the Val 30 years ago, I would have said, you need to go a different direction, right? Uh, and again, I count all those 30 years experience, but I would have told myself 30 years ago, you, you need to count on you. If nobody else believes you can do it, you believe you can do it, so try. You know, what, what happens if you fail? I wouldn't go any lower than I am right now. What happens? You know, but what happens if you succeed? Where could you have been already as opposed to where you're trying to get to now? So it is the mindset. And I'll tell you in reference to the business, what I've also found in, in dealing with a whole different group of people and class of people, and I don't mean class in reference to, you know, somebody's classier than somebody else. I mean, as, as far as a financial class, the mindsets of those people are totally different from the mindsets of when I had a state job. Um, when I have a state job, you know, people are happy to get that promotion that pays that extra hundred dollars a month or that that extra title that really doesn't mean a whole lot, but it's a title, right? <laughs> and it's a couple of people under you. People are happy with that. And again, if that brings you joy, I'm not knocking it at all. But the mindset of the people that I deal with right now and the circles that I run in right now are, first of all, they believe in uh, enjoying their lives. Uh, they work hard and they work hard. You know, they're working long hours. They're doing it for themselves. They're financially independent. They're creating wealth for themselves, their children and their grandchildren. Uh, and they're not letting anybody stand in the way of that. It is a different kind of mindset. And, and I don't mind saying, I love the mindset of the people that I'm hanging with now as opposed to the people I was hanging with then. And even then, I knew I was like a fish out of water. Like when they would talk to me and, you know, I'd hear them and, and understand what they were saying, but I just kept thinking, 
why am I not feeling joy about this, right? Um, yes, I get promoted. And, you know, I get those little bitty raises. And I'm a, I'm a laugh at the raise because at sometimes, you know, we go years without, like a, for the state, we go years without a raise. You know, you might get a $100, you know, uh, or $1,200 for the whole year as far as a raise. But it might be five years in between that, that general raise. So I'm gonna laugh at that because that's laughable to me at this point. But the mindset that of the people that I run with now is different. So if nothing else, I want this channel, I want uh, my life, I want my career from this point on to be able to create leaders. See, I think leaders create leaders. I don't think they create followers. I don't want a lot of followers. I want to give you the information for you to lead wherever it is you choose to go, for you to grow and lead. So that is my goal. That is my hope in reference to this channel. Definitely that is my hope in reference to when I talk about uh, thinking outside the box and getting out of, outside of your mindset of this is what's supposed to happen or this is what it's supposed to look like. Because I'm going to tell you, somebody told me in 25 that I would be in the situation I'm in at uh, 50 plus. <laughs> I would not have believed that. Uh, but I am here and I'm blessed. So any, if there's anything I can do to help you go on that step, take that next step, to help you with your journey, please let me know. If there's any insights you need from me, please let me know. I will be as honest as I can be. And again, if I don't have the answers, I can direct you as to where you can find the answers. But anyway, so I digress. <laughs> I hope everybody again has a amazing work week. Uh, and, and bet on you, bet on you and your career, bet on you and your family, bet on you and your happiness, mental, physical happiness, bet on you. Uh, because if you don't, no one else will. Anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the content, if you like to hear more. I have tons of thoughts <laughs> I would like to share with you guys, but let me know what you want me to talk about. And I will definitely do it in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.